Float is one of the first vehicles in My Summer Car that is accessible when you spawn in, and many players make their first journey to the store in this trusty but loud mode of transportation. To use the boat for the first time, start at the driveway of your house and walk all the way to the lake's edge. You should find the boat at the dock ready to conquer the waters. The first thing you need to do is get into the boat. To get into driving mode, move to the back part near the engine and then press enter when prompted. Starting the engine itself is easy. Left click on the starter here and pull away from the engine. It's just like starting a pool lawnmower. If it doesn't start right away, keep cranking it until it turns on. The boat has three gears. Neutral, forward, indicated by one, and reverse, indicated by R. You have to manually click to change gears with your mouse. Left click shifts the gears up and right click shifts down. There is also an engine shutoff button. Whenever you get out of the boat, make sure to press it so you do not run out of fuel. When you start the game, your boat should have enough fuel to drive towards the island in the middle, the town, and then back without running out. It is advisable to get spare fuel on your first journey into town if you intend to use the boat a lot. The boat itself runs on two-stroke fuel, which can be bought at Tamos for 99 marker. You fill the boat up by scrolling the scroll wheel on this cap here, and then holding the two-stroke over the top. You can also check your fuel levels this way by unscrewing the top and looking in the hole. But what do you do if this happens? If you find yourself in the middle of the lake with no fuel, do not panic. If you are pretty close to the shore, you can just swim and make your way to the store to buy more fuel. But be careful. Whilst a player can swim, they can only swim for around two minutes and will eventually get tired and drown. To avoid this happening, you can actually push the boat in the water. Press J to outstretch your hands, jump in and start pushing. You can then get back on the boat to reset the swim timer every one minute just to be safe. It takes longer, but it will stop you dying. But just buy extra fuel, keep it in the boat, and you will never need to swim. The last thing to remember when transporting objects on the boat is to be super careful. Make sure the items are securely in the middle and do not overflow the boat, because if you drop an item in the water, you could lose it forever. Oh, and don't forget to wave to this guy. Happy boating!